The place we're at right now is the home of Chris Jones and Anna Vichon, and it's the end of a triplex, I guess you would say. We've been told it's the second oldest brick building in Port Hope after the Waddell. I have okay, no idea so, if that's actually true. So what was it about this place particularly that made you say yes? Everything? <laughs> <laughs> One of the things we liked about this house is it's got these distinct levels. Our first floor we, we have is sort of our living room, kitchen, hangout. It's just one big room. The second floor is sort of the grown-up floor. It's where our bedroom is. We have an office there. And in the back there's sort of a sunroom, reading room. And in the wintertime there's a fox that sleeps on top of the wall at the back. And there's something about sitting there reading. It's like this magical little yeah. place. I feel like the fox knows us, we know the fox, we're all just hanging out together. One of the things I noticed about the third floor was the incredible height of the ceilings. They're significant. I would say they're probably 11 foot ceilings. There's two bedrooms and a bathroom up there and that makes it a family home. And that's what made it work for us too. On the wall is a huge map. What's yeah. that? So it's a giant map of Africa uh, in German for some reason. It's in the boys' floor because they both like maps. The decor in this place is fantastic. The cabinets, the colors. Love this fixture here over the top. It's like the one thing we did <laughs> was the fixture. Looking over the staircase, I saw a great big trophy. I'm given to the occasional rash purchase. I can't explain to you what, what happened that day, but I ended up with a giant rhino head and now it's on my wall. Anna, you're new to Port Hope, so what do you think? Uh, I come from big cities, so it's been quite an adjustment, but I think it's a lovely town, and it's very nice to look at. 